everybody, it's the Midwest Met. So I'm here with another unboxing for you. Today we got the FLIR C3 camera. It's a compact professional thermal imaging camera. See? It says uh, the pocket portable thermal imaging. FLIR C3 is the world's first full featured pocket portable thermal imaging camera for pro professionals. Keep it on you so you're ready anytime to find and show hidden heat patterns that signal energy waste, structural defects, plumbing clogs, HVAC issues, electrical hotspots, and other problems. Um, on the side here, is, that was the back I just read. It shows a couple pictures of what to expect when you start using it. On this side, it says key features and benefits. That's a pretty good list. Hold on. Reveals evidence of hidden problems, transfers images via Wi-Fi connectivity, captures radiometric JPEGs for analysis, it's pocket portable, easy to use and ready to go, shows area box with minimum maximum temperatures, measures temperatures from negative 10 degrees Celsius to 150 degrees Celsius, 3 inch touchscreen with auto orientation, MSX thermal images for recognizable detail, Picture-in-picture, picture, high sensitivity for subtle thermal differences. Wide field of view to see more of your surroundings. Built-in LED flashlight for extra illumination. And FLIR tools software for creating reports. And it also comes with a two-year full product warranty and a 10-year detector warranty. I'm not sure what that is, but I'll check it out. Um, so it says in this box, there's a thermal camera, USB cable, pouch, tripod adapter, lanyard, power supply with universal plugs. So that's what it says on the side there, everything I just read. Um, before I had a chance to open it all the way, the plastic was already coming off, so I just took that off. But let's get the opening, man. I want to see what's inside this thing. It just slides right off the cover. And it has two different boxes. One has the accessories, and one, I'm guessing, is the clear camera itself. Uh, let's open it up. Here, let's open up the accessories first. Okay, so in here we got the pouch. Up to something inside. It says FLIR right in the front. Okay, this must this is the tripod adapter it looks like. Yep. Has a little screw on the bottom. Or screw slot there, whatever. That's pretty cool. Oh, a cloth to clean the lens. I forgot what kind that's called, but that'll be useful. And that's it. But I'm guessing that's gonna be the size of the camera, but alright. Accessories, this uh Alright, there's a little thing on the side, oh, here we go. Opens up, kind of like the cell phone boxes. Ooh. Ooh, this thing is compact for sure. Look at this thing. Turn to the side. Where'd it go? Wow. Alright, there's a bunch of other stuff. It says uh Model FLIR C3, date of the calibration certificate is April 13, 2020. So that was three months ago. It shows you right there inside. Oop, that comes out. Just, just get that out of the way. Has the instruction guide there. It has a thank you from the general manager of instruments division, FLIR systems. The lanyard says FLIR on it. And this is the, uh, to charge it, the USB cable comes with it. And what's in here? Oh, 
Okay, we got all the universal adapters for power. There's uh, quite a few. There's six in here from what I see. Look the same. Okay, so the universal goes on here, and then you put the USB in there and plug it into the camera. That's it in there, and that might be it all together in this box. Yep, empty. I got a mess here. All right. So that's the FLIR, but look at this thing, alright, so the screen's back here, uh, the camera's right here, that must be whatever makes it thermal, <laughs> I'm not too familiar with these, I just know of them, I actually bought it to help with my ghost hunts that I'm going to be doing paranormal videos on pretty soon, but uh, I can use it for all kinds of other stuff, everything I read at the beginning here. Uh, here to give you an idea, let's see, I brought this bad boy. So yeah, it's about almost five inches. Oops. But this thing will come in handy for all the reasons I previously stated. And um, yeah, hopefully I get some cool evidence when it comes to my paranormal stuff too. Well, this ought to help a lot, so. Cool. All right, can't wait to use it. If you have one, maybe comment how you like it or what you use it for. And um, yeah, in the future, you'll see some of my videos I'll be bringing to you that will have footage from this and probably footage of me using it. So stay tuned for that. Uh, thank you everybody who's been subscribing lately. Um, I appreciate it a lot, you know, so stay with me. I'm going to try to bring you some cool stuff to watch and, uh, yeah, stay tuned. I'm going to, I got to do some review videos. I'm going to do some more music reaction for suggested videos. Um, I still got to bring to you the magnet fishing. Um, I got a bunch of other unboxings I got to do. I got all kinds of stuff guys. So. Bear with me, it takes a little while. Sometimes I gotta battle copyrights, like I said, but you know, we get through it for the most part. All right, so if you could, like and subscribe, man. Please, it, it helps out a lot and it motivates me to bring you more content. So, you know, I'm motivated anyways, but you know, the bigger the audience, the merrier. So, all right, we'll see you guys soon at the next unboxing or adventure or reaction. Or maybe even paranormal, alright? This is the Midwest Mex. We'll see you guys next time. Hello.